Hey, Kevin with New Standard here. I'm gonna bring you a little bit of a video series here. Um, for those of you, a lot of you have probably heard of the five freedoms of animal welfare. Um, what I find in talking to people is they don't necessarily know what those are or why they're important. They're getting more and more adapted by companies uh, around the world as, as, as a guideline on, on how to raise animals and take care of them. Now the history of it is the, the back in the, the UK government came up with a report, I believe it was in 1965, for these original uh, ideas, the five freedoms of, of animal welfare. Um, it was tweaked again by, uh, I think it was called the Farm Animal Welfare Council in the 70s or something like that. Uh, but basically, since then, even for this goal, it goes back to the 60s, remember, since then they've basically become incorporated even by the Humane Society as basically the foundation of what is required as a measurement tool for, for what animals deserve. Now, the thing I want to reiterate is, is I'm not here to promote the Humane Society. I'm here to promote the idea that us as, as farmers, producers, the raisers of pigs, we do have a, a desire, a right and a responsibility to take care of the animals properly. And these five freedoms, pretty much every producer I know incorporates them in one way or another or has the desire to do that in the first place. And we have nothing to hide. We have nothing to be ashamed of. And in fact, we need to tell our story properly and show that we are doing these things because we want to as, as pig producers. So what we're gonna do over this series is basically cover those five freedoms, which quickly, what those five freedoms are is freedom from hunger and thirst, freedom from discomfort, freedom from pain, injury, or disease, freedom to express normal behavior, and freedom from fear and distress. Now, for those of you who are hearing those for the first time, I challenge you to tell me what sounds unreasonable in that. That is something we would want to be doing for these animals regardless. The fact that they're written up doesn't make them bad. It means that these are the standards people are gonna hold us to. So let's make sure we're actually doing it, which I think most of us are. Let's also then make sure that we tell that story. So that's what these videos are gonna be about. Um, if you join me next week, we'll take you through the first one, which is gonna be freedom from hunger and thirst. We're gonna show you how we at New Standard, together with the equipment provided by NEDAP, can make sure that all these five freedoms that are required are actually achieved.